Red button. Awesome, awesome. So guys, this is gonna be the existing heating and air system that we have. We are looking at a 17 and a half wide by 39 and a half inches top to bottom. This is a downflow system. You have the filter running basically on the other side of this wall. It's just a standard cold air return grill that's a flip open. That's a 20 by 20 by one filter rack and access. Um, she said it's easier for her to access, but we've kind of talked and it sounds like she would almost prefer it here. Um, do you care either way? If they, if, if they could make it quieter by having the filter in here instead of having, okay. you know, yeah. Okay. But I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So, so for noise is more the big yeah. after. Okay. So the, the newer one will most likely take care of that perfectly for you without that being an issue. Okay. It's got a couple different speeds it'll kick down to that'll make it quieter for you. Um, and I want to address this right <laughs> here, guys. They, they kind of squished this together and made it work, which I'm not a, too big of a fan. It looks like they tried to do their like a high efficiency takeoff to transition this, and they just kind of plopped it together and taped it all together. Um, if we can correct that and make sure we're in line where we need to be to make sure we don't have any excess random air coming in through this guy, that'd be ideal. Um, we also have two inch for the fresh air and the exhaust. You have three inch going down, then it condenses down to two inch going out through the roof. Now the issue is you guys can probably see it here a little bit too, is there's a lot of water that just kind of comes down here. And we actually have a cloth here to kind of help prevent any of that from pulling over too much and getting inside the system itself. Um, it sounds like it was due to this not being sealed properly as well as up above on the roof. Um, so that is one thing I do want to have addressed and make sure we don't have any issues. We may need to come back in this spring or another time because the ice, I want you guys to be careful up on the rooftop yeah, yeah. Uh, when, we, when we work on this. But just make sure everything's set up for the exhaust and both of those are, are faced away from each other and make sure that we don't have any coming back to the system causing any issues with that. Um, this is a 60,000 BTU furnace with a three ton fan. You have the existing gas line right here running from hard pipe to flex back into hard pipe for the gas valve. And you have the drain system right over here on the left side uh, going through that three quarter inch PVC. And then I'm gonna have you point that camera just over to that floor drain if that's okay, Gail. And you guys are gonna see where that floor drains out at the bottom where that's connected to. So you know exactly where that's run into. So that little pipe it's pretty oh, dark. Uh, yeah, that, that's okay. They'll, they'll know when they get in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but that's that. Um, coming back to the system, the only other thing I'd really bring up is going to be the, the electrical for the system. You guys will have access to that, and it's a more modern disconnect, which is great. Um, all in all, that's going to be everything that we're looking at. Um, and, yeah, so that's going to be it. Mm -hmm. And I just clicked that red button on my tank.